Good afternoon, everybody. James Hawkins here. The current state of affairs on this planet <clears throat> reminds historians of the plight that's been on this planet for about 5,000 years. Matter of fact, the governments, communism, socialism, dictatorships, kingdoms, queendoms, they're all the same. When they're running for re-election, as all the countries do, even the dictators run for election, if you haven't noticed, they all say the same thing. We're going to lower unemployment, we're going to raise taxes, or lower taxes, depending on which. We're going to get provide new jobs, better health insurance, prosperity, better education for our children, more readily available. And then the same thing happens, nothing, none of it happens, nothing changes. Uh, law enforcement is about the same as it's always been. If Rome had taken us and conquered us, it'd be no different really. Instead of crucifying people, which would probably be less tortuous than incarceration, uh, we haven't gone too much better placing there. I don't think we've, uh, we've, we've gone and become less barbaric. I think we're about as barbaric as we've always been. Interesting to note though, our football stadiums, as beautiful as they have become, are still about the same size as the Colosseum was. And that was the grandest at the time, turn of the century. The, the year's zero, but uh, aside from that, it's business as usual. It's the same system that's been in place for 5,000 years. Every government is on board because every government must be controlled by the same faction that is establishing all the rules. You go country by country and you see that the tort law is almost identical pretty crazy that that philosophies that differ seemingly so radically don't have any different laws. They're about the same. So the masses must like the, the state of, or the condition of the world, is my only opinion, or we were bred to be so gullible that we will replace science for, some, for faith. Check this out. If I went out to my car a dozen times and put the key in it and turned it and it wouldn't start, would I have faith in that car if I went out in it to it a 13th time and put the key in it? Should I really expect it to start when it didn't start the last 12 times? But yet we have this, this attraction, this affinity, this implanted seed called faith that God loves us and God's real. And that God would never turn his back on us. And that our governments are good. And that our governments love us. Interesting to note that the government of any country and its citizens react in it to what they're told about the same way. In Russia, Vladimir Putin gets in front of the camera and tells everybody how he's going to protect the motherland and put money into his military and, you know, do all the right things that their country's the most righteous. And so their subjects believe so much that he's saying the truth that they are willing to go into the military, fight battles overseas, risk their life, kill other people simply by being told that what they're doing is the right thing. If we look at terrorism for what it is, terrorism is when you go into another country and basically destroy it and blow it up. There's one country that is the leading figure here as far as destruction in other countries. 
and I hate to admit it, but it's the United States that is. And we do it for various reasons under the auspice that